they're telling him that his load is canceled. I don't like this one at all, man. I do not like it, buddy. <laughs> Feels very creepy in here. Wow, look at this scenery, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Uh, let's fill up here real quick. And leave, leave the pump as soon as possible because it looks like this is the only pump to test that's working. And guys are coming over here starting to ask questions. <laughs> I'm glad I don't need that if I tell you that. Pop this hood, see what's going on. The truck is starting to heat up for some reason. I don't know why. He may be low on antifreeze or something. Well, it's not low. Cooling. So I'm not sh I'm not sure what's going on. Well, I'm not sure why it got hot for a second there. It wasn't too hot. It was just like over a little bit over 200, and the fan kicked on when I pulled out a dock. So I don't know. I think I just I may be paranoid because that never happens. And then when it happened, I'm like, shit, you know. But All right, so right there in the corner, right next to that Dodge Ram pickup truck, that's where we spent the whole day last week. Yeah, buddy. Well, looks like truck is fine. I don't know, I think I was just starting to be paranoid because that never happened before and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was like, dang, what the heck is going on? But it's not low on cooling, it's not low on oil. Everything seems to be working fine. Yeah, buddy. slowing down because of this uh, <coughs> state trooper here for some reason but you know, this guy passed him I'm gonna pass him as well speed limit is 75 fuck him if he wants to pull me over he can pull me over I don't give a shit right Definitely doesn't look like he's interested in pulling me over. Because if he was, I would already be pulled over. <laughs>
part of Kansas right here had a lot of freaking snow. And I can only imagine how bad it was. With all the wind, wind blowing like 60, 70 miles an hour. Bro. I am glad I pulled over there in Bennett, Colorado last week. Speedy Gonzalez, yes sir. about an hour away from my pickup and tomorrow we are delivering on the ground in Kansas City but we are delivering into a really shitty one into a place called Space Center uh, it's on the ground, it's shitty it's, it's wet, it's dark and it's just muddy and it's, it's a big freaking mess. I hate I hate going there but hey it is what it is man. The load pays good so we are doing it yeah buddy well tomorrow after I deliver this I'm gonna go to uh Jim Hawk trailer sales I'm gonna look at some trailers it's only about five miles away from where I'm delivering tomorrow so Yes, sir. After we deliver there, go look at some trailers. I'm still thinking if I should sell my uh, dry van that I currently have or if I should keep it. I'm thinking I should keep it. I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's in pretty good condition. It's uh, 2020 utility dry van. And I, I've only driven it for like two years and two years it's been sitting part <coughs> while I was working at Dollar General so I don't know I guess we'll see damn blue beast you are so filthy brother we gotta give you a bath Alright, well, we got 2.4 miles to go. I read some really bad reviews on this place, but hey, you can never trust a pissed off driver. We will say anything when we're mad. Yeah, buddy. Freaking mess. Come on, Russell, Kansas. What are you doing, bro? Clean this shit up. All right, that's the place we're going to. Right there on the right hand side. Let's sure we'll see where the, where the dry vans go. Pure field. I don't think I go there. Trucks use gate C, okay. going on with this check-in process. Okay. Alright, 
the sign right there says check in complete proceed to scale gate opens up I don't mind the process to be honest with you it could have been it could be a little bit quicker but hey it is what it is I make a really really wide turn for this scale right here what my empty weight is with almost almost full tanks 34,220 pounds okay tear weight proceed to load out okay let's see where that is building we got a, what is that Kubota yeah buddy okay. I have no idea where I'm going oh it looks like I'm going right here so I guess I'm gonna stop here and go check in with somebody we ring we, we ring the bell Turn this turn switch on uh, to on position. Leave on until warehouse personnel arrives. All right, so here we are waiting. This guy is still being loaded. My buddy here. We came all the way from Denver. They're telling him that his load is canceled. Which fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> are loaded I don't know if I go through here or around the other way no I don't go through here this is for the that's for the bulk trucks I just need to get on the scale and scale out but I know this mofo is gonna be heavy bruh But it's all right. We're not going very far. Only, it's only about three and a half hours away. So, whoa, bruh, seventy-eight thousand two hundred and something pounds okay what do I do with the ticket oh okay so I have to take the take the card ah uh, come on take the card put it right here and take the Scale ticket right here. Okay, take your ticket. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, let's see if this gate is gonna open. All right. Well, I'm not gonna go very far. I'm only gonna go down here to this truck stop and sleep until probably in the morning and then leave early in the morning. Damn, this road freaking sucks, man. 
Holy moly! Get her down! A lot of freaking snow around here. My water bottles have turned into ice, so I have to put all of them up here and turn on the uh, windshield defroster. security in the morning 6 30 that's when they open yeah buddy all oh, this shit is iced up right here so. looks like we got a homeless person sleeping in his car over here Well, 
as long as they don't mess around with me, I'm not gonna mess around with them. So they are safe. Let's see. Where are we gonna park? How about right here? Good morning, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, how are you? Uh, not bad, man. Okay, as soon as they're ready for you, they'll give you a call. Mm -hmm. You'll probably go to dock 13. Okay. We are here. Okay. Just come in, stay to your right, follow the arrows around till you get to this point. Okay. Turn right, and it'll be the first dock on the left. Okay. Now when you back in, you want to stay as close to this side as possible. Uh -huh. That way when you're done, it's easiest it's easier to, to, out to get out and just follow the arrows out. Okay. I appreciate the tip. Thank you. Uh -huh. And they'll give you a call as soon as they're ready. They'll sir. give me a call when they're, when they're yeah. ready. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, both of these guys are checking. We're super freaking nice. Very polite. So basically, this is what the place looks like. So I'm kind of over here. So I will get in this way, go all the way around because it's one way traffic, go here. I'll turn left over here, and my dock is right here. Uh, we'll back it in right there. And then whenever we leave, I'm just gonna come out this way. This place isn't too big. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but no. I picked up here a few times. I never delivered. Last time I picked up was somewhere around here and it was very freaking tight. I didn't like it at all. Hopefully this will be better. It looks bigger, but we'll see. Alrighty. Here we go. First in line, hey, yeah, buddy. Just the way I like it.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop here and get my windows clean because they're really, really fogged up. And then we're gonna turn on our mirror defroster to keep it on fog. I should have done that before I got in here, but it's okay. Oh, buddy. I think this place would collapse if I did that. Cars being 
stored over here, probably some very old classics. Probably laughing their asses off over there on the dock watching me try to back it in. <laughs> it's okay. I will get it in. There's no rush. There's no rushing in here. We'll pull forward as many times as we need to, to get it right, but we don't want to damage anything. One more pool and I should have it.
All right. Well, this is what I was working with. Right there. It's kind of tight. If there was another truck back there, I would have never made it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend that it's easy. This right here is not easy. Looks like a bunch of classic cars covered up and stored in there. There's a lot more back there. Looks like it's not wet anymore because they installed a bunch of these, what are these, sunk pumps or whatever. Yeah, buddy. When I first pulled up, I thought there was going to be a lot of room to back in, but... No, sir. <laughs> I was kind of concerned about that corner right there. But we got her in. Yeah, buddy. Look how freaking dirty this truck is, man. I need to get it washed today, buddy. Today. And that's not where you put your trash, drivers. No, sir. Do not do it. I don't see any trash cans, but... You know, you shouldn't have put it right there. Ooh, there's a... What the fuck is that? Oh, the car. Dang, buddy. Why are you driving so fucking fast, man? <laughs> fucking jackass. Well, after I get done right here, I'm going to go up north, about six miles away from me. I'm going to check out some reefer trailers at a place called Jim Hawk Trailers in Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, sir, they have few locations around the United States, but I'm gonna check this one out here in Kansas City because it's closest. I'm not really gonna buy a trailer from this guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go up there and waste his time because he used to be broker. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him in his balls and tell him, Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we are empty. Let's see how we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> okay. Back it up just a tiny bit. my door slide the tendons all the way to the rear and let's get out of here alrighty well thank you everybody for watching and subscribing to my channel I really appreciate you guys uh, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. It's up to you. Uh, please remember, be respectful in the comments. If you are not respectful, I am not going to be respectful to you. If you are respectful and nice, I am also going to be nice to you. So it goes, that, it goes both ways, you know. Uh, 
do not think I'm not gonna fire back if you say something bad about me or about my truck. So, yeah, buddy. All right, let's go up here and look at some reefer trailers. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and please come back soon because we are gonna be making more videos. Yeah, buddy. I like doing this, man. Uh, it kills time. You know, it's uh, I don't know. As of right now, I like it, so we're gonna keep doing it. Yeah, buddy. All right. Have a good day, everybody. got down here in Kansas City at uh, what is what is this place uh, Space Center in Kansas City Missouri just off of 435 let's go up here about five miles north and check out some trailers at Jim Hawk yeah buddy reefer trailer coming soon it's not gonna be stainless nothing flashy I would like to get a spread axle but if I don't find it, it is what it is, buddy. It is what it is. So this guy I'm seeing about buying a trailer. <laughs> I texted him like an hour ago. I said I'm going. To, I'm going underground. I'm gonna be done in, in about an hour. And when I got back out, he said, "Sounds good." I read his text message after I got out, and I sent him a message. I said, "I'm, I'm on my way." And he's calling me. That oh, you know, I'm stuck in traffic. But it'll be a minute. I'm like, man, typical broker bullshit. Because <laughs> this guy used to be a broker, and. Uh, yeah, typical broker shit, you know, lying out of his ass. But anyway, yeah, let's go up here and see what he has. Now, how tall is that bridge up there? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> it doesn't say no trucks or anything. There's no clearance sign, but. I can tell it's tall enough. Yeah, it's it's pretty tall. Well, not pretty tall, but it's tall enough for my truck. I don't know. These guys they don't have they don't have their trailers uh, trailer prices posted on the freaking uh, truck paper, and I freaking hate that. You selling something and you don't have a price posted like that is the dumbest thing ever, man. I usually don't call anybody. If you don't have a price posted, I'm not gonna call you or anything. Even like uh, like brokers about the load. If you don't have a price for the load, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna call you. You know, or email you. Because I wanna see that price so I can ask for more money. <laughs> and the worst thing I freaking hate is when they say, well, what are you looking for? How much How much you looking for to get? I'm like, motherfucker, just tell me how much you want to pay and then we can go from there. And then whenever they say how much you're looking for and I tell them the price and they're like, oh, buddy, we're not even close. Then why did you ask me how much I want and what I'm looking for? Like, what the heck, bro? All right, it's down here, this, this dead end street. Yeah, I parked on a sheet of ice. Just like some kind of freaking amateur, bro. 
All right, let's go see what these jackasses have. All right. S700. I would really like that one over S600. 11,000 hours. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. Oh, the tires look good. Oh, it's just your some dipping when we buy them back and stuff. They, uh -huh. they usually come back in pretty good shape. Yeah. Oh, one more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's been patched up right there. leaking from the outside. See all this ice? Yeah, holy shit. And the water, it's leaking right up there. And I can see the roof is slanted a little bit right there. You see? Uh -huh. You see how it's not straight? Yeah, so that side is fucked up for some reason. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I didn't know about that. This one looks fine. I don't think this is our 18. Yeah. This is the 7. I don't know where our 18 is. We can go walk around a little bit. Okay. That's where the damage is. Well, these guys here don't have shit, man. The way they act, you know, like online, is like they have 30 of these fuckers here, but they only have like one 2018 and they had two 2015s. Uh, and they do want way too much money. So I don't think I'm going to be coming back over here again. Uh, yeah, it's kind of false advertising, advertising if you're asking me. I mean, if you look up online on, on uh, truckpaper.com for uh, Jim Hawk trailer sales, and you look up Kansas City as a location, they show they have like so many of these, but they only have one 2018 and I mean, trailer is nice, but it's leaking. It's leaking inside. It's leaking inside from a corner, like just up there. And there's a big pile of ice inside the trailer where the water got in and froze. You know, saying we got, we got these in Iowa, we got this in, uh, in Georgia, we got this. That doesn't do me any good, buddy. I'm in freaking Kansas City, Missouri, and you were supposed to have a lot of them here but you do not so fuck you buddy I am not gonna be coming back over here again